Good day grade 6. We are now in Mathematics 6, quarter 3, week 5. But before I proceed to our lesson, please like and subscribe to my channel for more video updates. Calculating speed, distance, and time. Due to new normal situation brought by the pandemic, we commonly hear the word social distancing or physical distancing. This means we keep a distance at least one meter from each other and avoid spending time in crowded places or in group. Aside from wearing face masks or face shields and washing hands, the minimum safety protocol standards imposed by the Interagency Task Force or IATF to limit the spread of spread of COVID-19 transmission. So now, let us define some terms. The units of measurements of distance are kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. The units of measurement of time are hour, minute, second. The units of measurement of speed are kilometer per hour, minute per second, centimeter per second, millimeter per second. Do you want to travel guys? Where do you want to go? Filipinos are fun to travel out of town and out of country but for the meantime, let us enjoy our home life and recall the places we have traveled before this pandemic. Are you familiar with this, guys? What is the most far away place you have been to? Do you know how far it is? How long did you travel? Do you know the speed at each which your vehicle traveled? Have you noticed that when the speed of the vehicle is faster, the time it makes to reach a place is lessened? A speedometer A speedometer or speedmeter is an instrument on a vehicle's dashboard indicating its speed. A speed, a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. A speed can be thought as a rate by which an object covers distance. Example, 55 km per hour. Distance is the total length between two positions. Example, distance of Baguio City to Bulacan, kilometers. A few moments later. Time is the quantity measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. Example, 4 hours. A few moments later. Let's analyze the problem. In this problem, we are asked about the distance they traveled. Given information, speed of 55 km per hour and time of 4 hours. We had a family vacation in Baguio. My father drove our van from city of Malolos to Baguio City at an average speed of 55 km per hour. For a total of 4 hours, how far did we travel? To find the total distance traveled, we simplify multiply the given speed and time. Distance is equal speed times time is equals to 55 times 4 is equals to 220 km. Answer, we traveled 220 km. Remember, an easy way to remember the formula for speed is S, distance D, and time T is by using a triangle. D for distance goes in the top of the triangle, S for speed goes in the bottom left of the triangle, and T 
for time goes in the bottom right of the triangle. It looks like this. Distance, speed, and T for time. What letters are in blue shaded? Letters S and T are next to each other. It means multiplication. So we can say that the formula for calculating distance is D equals to S times T. Example, calculate the distance that you will travel if you will drive for 3.5 hours at 75 km per hour. Distance is equals to speed times time is equals to 75 km per hour times 3.5 hour or time. Distance is equals to 262.5 km. The answer, you will travel a distance of 262.5 kilometers. What letters are in blue shaded? Since D is over T, so it means division, we can derive the formula as speed as speed is equal to distance over the time or S equals D over T. S equals D over T is equals to 120 kilometer divided by 2 hour. So the result is speed is equals to 60 kilometer per hour. So the answer is the car travels 60 kilometer per hour. What letters are in blue shaded? D is over S, so we can derive the formula for the time as distance divided by speed. Time, distance over speed or T is equals D over S. Example, a bus traveled 252 kilometers at 72 kilometers per hour. How long does it travel? Example, T is equals to D over S. So, 252 kilometer over 72 kilometer per hour. We just cancel the kilometer and the answer is 3.5 hours. So, the bus traveled for 3.5 hours. Directions. Complete the table below. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Number 1. The speed is 75 km per hour. In time, 3 and a half hour. So, what is the distance? I will give you 10 seconds. Correct, 262.5 km. Number 2, the given are 20 seconds, 200 meters, and the speed is 10 meter per second. Correct. Number 3, the given are 65 km per hour in speed, and the distance is 390 km. The answer, 6 hours. Number 4. The given are 5.5 hours and the distance is 473 km. So what is the speed? Correct! 86 km per hour. Number 5. The speed is 9.3 meter per second. And the time is 86 seconds. So what is the distance?
If your answer is 799.8 meter, you are correct. Direction. Calculate speed, distance, and time. Write your answer on a sheet of paper. If it takes 4 hours to drive a distance of 180 kilometers, calculate its speed. So S is equals to D over T or 180 kilometer the distance with 4 hours of time. So the it is equals to 45 kilometer. Next example, a train travels with a constant speed of 40 miles per hour. How long will it take to travel a distance of 40 miles? A train travels with a constant speed of 40 miles per hour. How long will it take to travel a distance of 40 miles? So time is equals distance over speed. The distance is 40 miles divided by 40 km per hour. The answer is 1 hour. An airplane flies with a constant speed of 800 km per hour. How far can it travel in 3.5 hours? D is equals x times t. D is equals to 800 km multiplied 3.5 hours. And the answer is 2,800 km. Thank you for watching guys. This is Sir Benson Lips You at Top. Keep on study and your life will be happy. Bye bye guys. See you on my next video.